The Ram 7 has the most recoil out of every gun, which it also has the least amount, but only with my build. And as you guys can see, we are absolutely fucking up some lobbies with it. This build is stupid easy to use. You could give the remote to your grandma and she'll pop off with it. She might even drop an MGB because this thing has got no recoil and a lot of mobility. So one reason it has a lot of mobility is that we are not adding the Jack BFB. But if you want a lot of recoil control to make this thing super easy to use, then I would use the Jack BFB. But when you are moving around the map, you're going to have a little bit of a slower ADS. And to me, that just really annoys me. And then if you do want to run a suppressor just so you're off the radar, I would not run a suppressor. So what I'm going to be rocking in the gameplay is going to be the compensative flash hider. I do have another option for you guys. So I know in every single video I've been giving you guys, I'll try to mix it up. But this compensative flash hider is insane. It makes the gun so easy to use, so clean and smooth without really hurting the gun at all. We're only losing about 5% of our ADS speed for so much recoil control. One thing I don't like is that we're losing our ball velocity, but I will be using something else to bring that back up. So when you add the compensate flash, there's not really going to be any recoil on the weapon, but there still will be a little bit of a side to side bounce. So if you want to eliminate that, add the Cassis break. I will go back to this and I'll show you guys how crazy this gun is when you use the Cassis over the flash hider. Overall though, flash hider is going to be a little bit more consistent. By the way, are you hard stuck in rank play and want to boost? Then I would check out my long term sponsor, Guapsi. They will play in your account to legitimately boost up your rank and they can also unlock anything you wish on the game. You can scour the internet and you won't find a single negative review. I'll have their link in the description. So now our gun doesn't have nearly as much recoil, but we were losing a bow velocity with that muzzle. So to bring that back up, we are going to be adding the Cronin Headwind Long Barrel. I do want to try out some other barrels on here. There's a couple other good options, but the Cronin Headwind is definitely the best one if you want to make your gun very good. This one's going to increase that bow velocity in that range, making this thing kill way quicker up to about 40 meters, which is insane. And that's one reason why this setup is also meta in Warzone, if you like that. The big con of this barrel is that we are losing a lot of our mobility and our handling. Well, I guess it's not that much overall this barrel is great it really doesn't hurt the gun at all and you also get that firing aiming stability and aiming idle stability so now it's gonna be easier to hit that first shot and once you hit that first shot it's gonna be easier to stay on target so now our gun really isn't gonna sway as much also when you are using the gun make sure you aim with the left stick don't really aim with the right stick if you're on keyboard mouse you gotta fast forward but if you're on controller don't aim like this you want to aim with your left stick you just use the right stick to kind of control the recoil and then you strafe to control the recoil. I mean, to, to control your aim and things like that. Obviously, you got to use the right stick sometimes, but overall, that left stick can really help you aim better, especially because you get that rotational aim assist. So now for the next attachment, we do need to add a little bit more recoil control. So there's two different options. You guys can add the 3.4 pad or the Hunker 5 stock pad. Recently, I've been really liking the Hunker because if we look at these detailed stats, you guys can see we are not losing sprint speed and we are not losing tactical sprint speed. When we do add the pad, we are losing both those usually i'm not going to be like walking and stuff so i'd rather lose like these values over the pad and i don't really lose i mean i don't notice the like movement and the ads movement speed loss that we are getting overall use whichever one you want try out this one then try out the hunker last time i used the hunker now i'm really liking the hunker five stock pad now our gun has a little bit more recoil but you know we are going to be running through ammo a lot it's not going to be uh you know 30 rounds is not enough for this gun especially with the time to kill you're going to need the 40 round mag i really don't know ever time that i wouldn't use the 40 round mag 60 is nice but you might want to take off the barrel then use like the dr6 hand stop under barrel to bring up the mobility since the 60 really does chalk the mobility on the gun so now we have that recoil control we got the range we got a lot of ammo and overall you know pretty good ads speed as you guys can see this thing really doesn't have that much recoil. It is very easy to use. From here, really personal preference. Doesn't matter what you add. I don't really think this thing needs optic, but if you're going to add one, Jack Glasses is definitely the way, or the MK3 reflector. Lasers, you don't really need those. DR6 hand stop. I almost ran this because it really made the gun like so much lighter. And it brings up a lot of the cons that we're losing with other attachments. Gives us a very clean strafe speed. And so I would definitely try out the DR6 hand stop. The uh, high grain rounds are also pretty good. Just keep in mind, there's going to be a little bit of recoil on the weapon. So you might want to take off the magazine and then add something for recoil control. Since long range, the gun's going to get a little bit awkward to use. What I'm rocking in the gameplay is going to be the retort 90 grip tape. This one's going to increase that firing aim and stability. And that gun could control really helping us out. Making this thing super easy to use at range. Yes, we are losing uh, aim and idle stability, but we are getting that back i believe with the stock or that barrel and so now our gun this is when you can hand the remote to your grandma and she'll be able to control the gun this thing brain dead easy to use but i do want you guys to try out another build too i already made a video on this but you basically just add the cassis break on there and then now our gun 
is going to have literally zero side to side balance but there's going to be a lot of vertical so it does take some practice to get used to and keep in mind if you want you can take off the barrel take off the magazine i would just make sure you have the stock and the muzzle maybe even the rear grip but uh yeah the big part is just having that stock and the like a muzzle on there barrel you can take that off and use something else that's what i did i think in the last video as well and then uh, for my secondary that i was using to get the mgbs we got the core 45 and then i got the stim semitex trophy system scavengers covert eud let's get into it will we get a new first try chats can we do this Oh my god, we missed every shot. I gotta get used to it. This class doesn't have any recoil. Bro, it is so satisfied. I kind of want to throw in that 6 3 on mag, but the mobility is not going to be as good. You know what's funny, chat? Going from rank playing against parasites. Call of Duty Professionals, and then going into pubs, it's so night and day, oh my god, what's that man doing, oh my god, is there more than one, oh my god, what the f Okay, these guys love the objective. That means this game's gonna last. What the flip? Look, it's so satisfying. We are gonna nuke him. We are gonna nuke him, chat. Don't worry. We are going to nuke him straight back into Milwaukee. Oh, not with that guy, though. That guy's gonna cuck everything. That guy's the biggest cuck. That's the chat at the party. You find that chick that you like, you're talking to her, and then that chad walks in, and you're like, oh, well, f*** me. Huh? Oh, we're on the 15 chat? No! I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. He's dead. I'm gonna throw on the advanced UV. Now we know what they're thinking. What they're doing. They've been naughty or nice. They've all been naughty, so Santa's gonna bring him bring them his his big old MGB. Let's go, chat. Let's fucking go. No. That's why you need the advanced UAV if you want nukes. Oh, fuck. I mean, flip, man. Flip. Come on. There we go. There's the MGB. That's the MGB. Let's fucking go, chat. Easy MGBs. Simplicity. This is actually what happens once you get to top 250. This is what happens when you get to top 250, chat. It just turns into this. We might be able to get double, honestly. Through my no. Bro, honestly, chat. We okay. We we should go to a big map and see how this thing is across the map because I want to get some insane beams. Want to get some no recoil beams, some negative recoil beams and beans. Maybe we can do pubs or subs, chat. Maybe. 
I don't think about it. I do need to get one more nuke for tomorrow's video. Bro, the ram is so satisfying. I'm surprised I don't see more people rocking this gun. It is unbelievably satisfying. Bro, those mosquito drones are insane. Bro, fuck those mosquito drones. Oh my god, so annoying. What do you want to do? Wow. Quickest nuke ever. Mate, no, I'm friendly. Friendly fire. <laughs> Bro, it's so satisfying, Reese. No, and then we die by that guy. If the advanced you would be in there. Cheese it's an MG beast. I don't think anything can ever beat that. Yeah, I definitely would use a VPN if it worked. That would be sick. That would be sick. It used to work, but the reason VPNs don't really work, they probably switched up something, and there's just so many people using one that doesn't really work. It's like when a cheater tries to cheat in ranked play now. There's so many cheaters in ranked that those cheaters are, are still not going to win any games because of the amount of cheaters uh, in there. Oh, that guy's mad, chat. He's got off work, and then we railed it. Is my trigger messed up? No, no, no. It's a, it's a conversion kit for the Core 45. Where did my RAM go? Where did my RAM go? It's a conversion kit for the Core, so whenever you pull the trigger and release the trigger, it fires. So if I pull the trigger, it fires, and if I release the trigger, it fires. It's like the bilingual one. I think it's called bilingual trigger. Imagine being him. He's getting silly shit on. You know, I'm convinced, chat, that a gun could be really bad and they're still going to take it out of ring play. Just because it's new. Like, if they add a new gun and it's bad, they're going to take it out of ring play no matter what. There we go. This is actually such an enjoyable video to record. Some of the guns I make, like the video is not that enjoyable to use, but like this one's actually enjoyable to use. No, damn it, damn it, damn it, we had it. Okay. You know what, Chad? We dropped 114. Looks like we're gonna drop an MGB. Now that's an MGB. Yeah, it's so funny, the guys. Let's go, boys. Let's fucking go. Easy dubs. GG's, guys. GG's. What? 120 and 16? That's not too bad. Honestly, I'm not even gonna nuke the enemies. I'm just gonna do I'm just getting this nuke just so I can nuke him because the MGB it kills your teammates as well. 
which, uh, you know, there's times where, like, I was about to get an MGB and my buddy was about to get an MGB. He got his MGB first, then he killed me off the MGB. And where is that guy looking at? This map is insanely bad, but also insanely good. So it looks like nobody's capturing flags, so we need to definitely start... What? No, he's moving! That guy's like James Bond. That guy's Tarzan. Jesus. I shouldn't be killing them off because if we don't capture any flags, the game is going to end. But it's like when you see... <gasps> Bro, that guy does not want to die. He's doing the no li the no dying challenge. Is everyone just at melees today? Everyone just got to have karate class? What, what the fuck's going on? Okay, we got the advanced UV. I feel like I'm just going to blink and there's going to be a man running up Tarzan with his swords just trying to get my ass. Okay, I'm going to let him capture that, actually. Bro, this thing is so easy to use. Holy shit. As I whiff every single shot. Trust me, it's super easy to use. This is definitely my favorite ram build. There's like other ram builds are more satisfying, but this one's like definitely probably everyone's favorite. Bro, I cannot hit my shots. I thought that guy was going to be moving forward, so I just like pre-aimed it and then just had no reaction time at all. We're in the 19 though, boys. Let's go. First game, uh, second game on of the day. I almost lied to you guys. Oh my god, look at that. Now we're out of ammo. This is not good. I need to run around and go find some stuff. Shit. Bro, this pistol, this core 45, insane. I feel like there's a guy up here. Bro, this pistol is like an actual primary. Oh, they're all shooting each other because of the EMP. I have no ammo. I actually have zero ammo. I don't have any bullets. I don't know what to do in this situation. Do I just run away? Do I... I, I have to get a melee kill. That's the only way. This is not good, boys. Shit. They're all gonna spawn in me over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. SVA. I'll take it. I'll take the SVA. I got ammo, boys. Okay, I'm going to use SVA. Just to make sure we get we have enough ammo for the last kill. One more kill for the MGB. There we go, boys. MG motherfucking B. If you're watching this point of the video, you're an absolute G. Hope you're doing great in life. I hope you're popping off. I hope you're doing... And you know what? Leave a comment down below of what you want to do in life if you're watching this point i'm curious what do you want to do in life like what is your aspiration in life for me my aspiration is to keep on doing this youtube stuff and you guys have allowed me to do my dream job so I cannot thank you guys enough i'm literally doing my dream job because of you guys and so thank you guys for that and i hope i can keep on doing this and you know have some other things in the works too because i enjoy this a lot but i have a lot of other ideas and things so hopefully i can just keep on doing stuff in the youtube space in the streaming space and things like that because i really do love this stuff and look at that boys actually you know what fuck all that my aspiration is to never have to pay taxes again i'm gonna go the jeff bezos routes that was sketchy i thought i was gonna die and yeah, we got him bro the spawns in this game are so good if i had more ammo that would have been a clip because i think they would have kept on spawning there There we go. There we go. And next Call of Duty, I'm so excited because it's going to have, uh, it's going to be the first Call of Duty that we've had in a while that's actually fully developed. That's not like a, a half-ass Call of Duty that comes out. And it's made by Treyarch, so I'm like super excited for that one. The colors should be great. I don't think we've ever gotten a bad Treyarch game. People say Cold War was bad, but they didn't even make all, you know what, you're a bitch. Cold War, like those, all those maps in there, I'm pretty sure Sledgehammer made all those maps and then Treyarch had to like pick up their slack. So they haven't really had a fully developed Call of Duty, I think since 
Black Ops 3 because I think even BO4 was super rushed. Bro, great spawns. Great spawns. So yeah, next Call of Duty, it's supposed to be Black Ops Gulf War. I don't like that name at all. I think that sounds horrible. Just like Cold War. Like, I wish they would just call it like Black Ops or something. Because I feel like whenever they add something like that, it just sounds weird. Like, imagine if we had Modern Warfare Cold War. It's so boring. Just keep the Black Ops. Well, okay, they probably want to call it Gulf War, but then they know they'll get more sales if they... Bro, what the fuck are these spawns? They probably want to call it Gulf War, but they know they would get more sales if they call it Black Ops Gulf War. Let's see if we can get a crazy spawn shot from up here. I tell them spawning in front of us because, you know, the spawns on this map don't really work. They'll spawn in your sights. Call of Duty's doing a great job. He's a ninja. There's the one. I think this guy's still up there unless teammates are... Okay, teammates got him. Bro, that guy was so annoying. Oh, my God. So annoying. Enemies, where are we going? Where, where are we spawning at? I'm right here. They should be spawning to my left. You gotta basically just rotate on this box back and forth and they'll just keep on spawning by you. And you can get pretty easy MGBs from doing this. Like, okay, okay. Not easy. Well, like, you know, you can get a lot of kills. You can get, like, your streaks, I guess I would say, very easy. Because after a bit, they're going to kind of realize what's happening. And then you'll probably die. But you can get, like, you know, your initial streaks from doing that. Here, let's see if I can do it again. Oh, they bust out the shields now, too, you bitch. Bro, those shields are so annoying. Oh my god. Bro, I've never been so annoyed with a shield with a, a metal object before. Bro, look at these really great spawns. They just make so much sense. Oh, you dog shit player? Let's do the EMP right there. Let's go do the advanced UAV. Yo, we're on the 16. We actually might be able to get the second nuke. I don't think that Ryle Show guy is doing anything. He's just he's just trying to be a nuance on the map. A nuisance. A nuisance. Okay, I used to always say nuance when I meant to say nuisance. Well, I didn't realize it was nuisance, so I just say nuance. But now, I've been saying nuance as a joke, but then it, like, convinced myself back, and I was like, shit. Which is kind of what happened when I was saying, uh, instead of plunder, I used to call it plunger. Well, I'm curious what you could do over here if, you're, if you have, like, a 60 round mag. Shit, the MGB! No, the MGB! I got it called in. I don't think I'm gonna get it off. Ah! No!